that's all that matters, right? Just give it your best effort. Even if it's not quite what you'd hope it would be, as long as you gave your best effort, that's something to be happy about. All right, I'm about to roll out before I head to the gym for day two of our quarterfinals prep. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that quarterfinals is coming up and those of us who qualified for quarterfinals at my gym are doing a simulation weekend to kind of get and understand what the stimulus is going to be in the quarterfinals next weekend. So I did my first workout for that yesterday. I'm gonna link it up here so you guys could check that out if you want to. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about what we might see in quarterfinals. So I wrote down a couple of notes of things I think we could end up seeing. And uh, I wanna talk a little bit about that. Leave in the comments what you think we could see because I love hearing that and I think it's great to start a conversation. So I will respond to some of those too if you leave your comments. So one thing I've seen some people talking about is wall-facing handstand push-ups, like a wall walk into a wall-facing handstand push-up. That would be cool, but I don't really see that happening at the quarterfinals level. It may happen at semifinals, and who knows, it could happen at quarterfinals, but I don't expect it to. This year has been totally different than previous years, and some of the things I'm gonna talk about refer back to previous years, and ultimately, because we have a new programmer, that data and information doesn't mean nearly as much as it would have last year, or if Dave Castro was still programming quarterfinals this year. So, Maybe, maybe we could see that. That was part of Bosman's programming at the games last year. So there is a chance that that's the direction we're going. But I think it's still a difficult movement for a lot of people. And you definitely can't do it in the way it was done at the games where it was on those blocks and you needed to make this line on the block disappear with your head because it was to a deficit. I mean, we couldn't do that at our gyms. We could do it kind of with the line standard we had in the open this year but I still think that's kind of a leap. I do think there's a good chance we could see those at semis this year though. So that's something to look out for, but that is jumping ahead because we're still in the corner finals portion of this. So for the lift, I don't think it's going to be like what we saw in the open. And again, this is based off what we've seen in past years in quarterfinals. It usually is some sort of complex or multiple reps. So I believe it was a four rep max front squat one year and then last year it was the other total, so it was uh, three one rep maxes. So it wasn't just one one rep max like we saw in the open. So my guess would be it's likely a complex, and actually we're gonna be doing a complex today when I head to the gym in a little bit to simulate quarterfinals. It's actually the complex I believe that was in semifinals last year. So that could be what we see. We're going to see something heavy, I would imagine, another lift tested like we saw in the open, but I think it'll be either complex or multiple lifts for total weight. So that's my thought on that one. And then there's some things we've seen pretty much every year of quarterfinals. And by every year, I mean the two years we've had. So it's not a lot of data, but it is some. So we've seen GHD sit-ups and that is on the equipment list. So I imagine we'll see those. Single leg squats, pistols. So I would expect to see those again. Rope climbs. It's on the equipment list, so I think we're gonna see those. Handstand push-ups, snatches at 135, 185, and wall balls. So those are all things that we've seen in each of the quarterfinals, and I think we'll likely see most of them again because they're all movements that are very common to CrossFit, and most of them are movements that we've seen Bosman program as well. Snatches specifically at 135.85. I'm not sure if that's like a poundage that he is married to. So maybe it could be different than that weight or it could be building, but that weight specifically, we've seen twice in quarterfinals. So we could very well see it again this year. Although 185 for men, I believe is 125 for women 
in the open workout this year. So maybe that's a sign that we'll see a little bit lighter. Not sure. But those are all movements that I would anticipate seeing in quarterfinals. Again, GHD sit-ups, single leg squats, rope climbs, handstand push-ups, snatches, and wall balls because they've been in every year, two, only two, <laughs> of the quarterfinals so far. The kettlebells are, that, are something that's on that equipment list that people have been talking about all open. And I said, when we first started talking about this, that I really didn't think they were gonna be used in the open because we don't have enough weights to accommodate all the groups that we see in the open and they could be used in quarterfinals. I still think they could be used in quarterfinals, possibly like in a kettlebell snatch, or maybe as something you hold like a farmer's carry position, either getting across a box, like box step overs with the kettlebells, or just for like shuttle, shuttle sprint distance. Obviously when it's sprint, you'd likely walk or walk fast. So I think we could see those this in quarterfinals. Although we also have to remember that that equipment list is not just for quarterfinals and the open, it's also for age group semifinals. So it could be for that as well. Like we could see kettlebells in the semifinals for the individuals at the in-person stage, but we could also see them in the, in the semifinals for the age groupers, which is part of that equipment list because that equipment list is for all online competitions and the semifinals for the age groups is an online competition. So I feel like that's something a lot of people are forgetting and thinking that it's 100% necessary that we use the kettlebells, but also nothing on there we have to use. They're just letting us know that that's the equipment we should have and may come up because we should expect dumbbells in quarterfinals too, because we didn't use them in the open, but they don't have to use them in quarterfinals. I would guess we use dumbbells. I just think it's something that should be tested at this level, but they don't have to use any of that stuff. So just because they told us we need it, doesn't mean we have to use it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna finish rolling out. Those are some of my predictions. They're not really workout predictions because with five workouts, there's so much that could happen but they're kind of movement predictions and some ideas of what we may end up seeing next Thursday or this Thursday when it is announced. I'm gonna finish rolling out and head to the gym for my second day of quarterfinal simulation. Warming up and switching up my shoes for this complex. I'm gonna put it here for you so you guys can see what it is. Um, but I think it's the complex from semifinals last year, the one that all the semifinals had to do. And uh, squatting, like I've said many times, not my thing. But you know, we're just gonna get as heavy as we can in three attempts. I think what I've heard is to do your first attempt is like a safe attempt. Your second attempt is something you know you can do, but like a little bit more of a reach. And then your third attempt is like, send it. This is the one that you're gonna risk everything on. So that's what we're gonna do. Definitely gonna put my knee sleeves on for this one and uh, see what we can do. Oh, and I am a a little bit sore from yesterday. Definitely my core a little bit from all the GHD sit-ups, but it's not awful. That's definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But uh, my quads, because there was the wall balls, but then also uh, when I'm doing the GHD sit-ups and my core gets tired, I try to engage my legs more. So I think that also kind of got my quads a little bit too. Okay, onto this weightlifting complex. So this is one to 15, which for me is a moderate weight, but something I should almost definitely be able to hit for this first set. So it is three cleans. You can do those power or squat. I do them power, two front squats and a jerk. So hit all that, was happy with that just to get something in. Next, I jumped up to 125 here. And this is, you know, this is a little bit tougher for me, but I should be able to do it. So again, still powering because for me, the power is just stronger than the squat. I like how my powers looked. The squat here, as you can see, a little bit more of a struggle than the power cleans, but I think I stayed pretty tight and they actually look a little bit easier watching them than they felt, which I guess is good. Uh, the jerk felt good and looked good too. And now I went up to 135, so another 10 pound jump. I'm pretty happy with how these power cleans looked for this weight since I haven't cycled this weight in a while. That was really good. Then I went on to the squats, which uh, you're gonna see went like that. Yep, yeah, just on the ground. So that's, uh, that's where I get stuck in the squat. That's what really hurts me on this particular workout. I believe I did this complex 
back, I don't know, right after semifinals, I think it was. And I was on a squat cycle then, and I did hit 135, and I failed 140. But, you know, I've done a half marathon back in December. My training has been a little bit less focused on squatting. Um, so you gotta take what you take. And, you know, the 135 cleans look pretty good, so that's a win, I guess. You can see the workout up in the top corner of your screen. Uh, this workout started out with some really heavy snatches and it's about five pounds heavier than my one rep. So I ended up scaling it down to 105 just so I could do something. I guess the equivalent of that for men would be uh, a 155 pound snatch. Usually that's the scale, 105, 155, 105 for women, 155 for men. So if you're looking to simulate something similar, that would be my suggestion if you want to do a similar weight to me. These felt heavy. They felt like some heavy snatches. I didn't want to wear lifters or knee sleeves or anything because I felt like that would impact me poorly on the box jumps, especially a 30 inch box jump, which is super high. And wait till you see it. This is not the right box to be doing those on. Um, but just kind of chipping away at these nine snatches. You know, this is a heavy weight for me and I got to set up for it each time embrace for it but you know they look pretty decent it's just hard getting out of the hole for me i know some people like if i can get under it i can stand it up that's not me i can get under it but standing up is really where the question mark comes in but i was happy i got through a bunch of these and you know getting some squat volume in which is something i need to get in my training after quarterfinals and could be something we see heavily in quarterfinals but I mean, I have no idea what's gonna be in quarterfinals except for the things I spoke about before that we may see based on history, but I don't actually know. So could be really squat dominant. So this could be some practice of dealing with fatigued legs because my legs felt a little bit fatigued also from yesterday's 100 wall balls and, uh, and probably the complex I did right before this that had squatting in it too. But I got under the reps, which you know meant I had the opportunity to stand them up so now I'm gonna go over to, oh, I think I have one more, one more snatch, Never mind. So I think this is my last snatch here, I believe. Setting up for it, I make sure I line up my laces with the bar, try to get myself in a good position, my shoelaces, that's like where I, how close I get to the bar. So now I am moving over to this box. Burpees are fine, I can do a burpee. Uh, here's the thing, this box is high, and look at that. It is very, very shaky. So I ended up using my hands when I jumped over it, which I'm pretty sure is a no rep, but I'm also pretty sure I would have broken my face if I uh, didn't do that. Someone told me afterwards that I should have used a different box, which yes, I probably should have. I just didn't realize there was a way to scale up the shorter boxes. I'll explain that a little bit later. But uh, this is the only box I saw in the moment that was 30 inches tall. I just failed that rep. Kind of getting psyched out by the fact the box shakes every time I jump on top of it. Uh, someone's, the person that told me about the other box also said that she's like, I thought you were gonna die. Um, me too. So I'm pretty sure, I already scaled this workout with the weight and I'm pretty sure using my hands in the box jump is another scale, but I needed to get that box to be stable so I didn't fall off of it. And then I had a shoe issue. So I'm tying my shoelace. I'm gonna be honest, this workout ended up being a little bit of a disaster, but sometimes you just have to keep on moving through those things. You could use it as a reason to stop for the day, but I didn't. I just wanted to grind through it, even though conditions were less than optimal. I also got to the gym a little bit late because I had a meeting in the morning and uh, I was kind of tight on time because there was a team class coming in right after me and I literally only had like 10 minutes to get this done before the team class came in. So I did what I could. That snatch looked pretty good. I was pretty happy with that one. But let me tell you, those 30 inch box jumps and all the other squatting I've done, my legs were, uh, my legs were barely operating. So I was just trying to chip away at this as best as I could so that I could, you know, feel like I, did something and tried to get better. And I mean, I feel like that's what I'm doing, you know? If this was the actual quarterfinals workout, I would be just attempting a 135 pound snatch over and over again. But I figured since this is a simulation and it's practice, I might as well get 
an actual workout in with a weight that's a little bit of a struggle as you saw in that one, but something that I can chip through and at least get some reps of. So I thought that was my best bet for this workout so that I could actually get a workout. But come quarterfinals, I may have a workout or two where it just starts too advanced where I can't do it and almost failed this snatch. So I'm telling you, getting out of the hole is my problem. Almost went back into the hole there. And uh, gotta be honest, I wasn't feeling great here either because this just wasn't going well. I was looking at the time to see how much time I had left to chip away at these snatches and get through this set of six. Um, it's not always gonna be pretty and it's not always gonna be perfect, but I think, you know, putting in the effort and just trying to do as much as you can, that's gonna get you better and that's gonna get you stronger, mentally stronger too, just doing this by myself and uh, trying to do whatever I could to get as many reps as I could and get a 1% better half a percent better I don't know but I was happy I chipped through this. this is the heaviest snatches I've done in a while for reps at least I've done heavier snatches for singles but that's not what we're doing here so back to this box for the six. Oh, I was worried that the barbell was gonna run over my phone my timer it stopped though back to this again that box just shaking <laughs> it was uh it was a scary experience and I decided I'm just gonna use my hands. There might be a rep here where I attempt not to use my hands. This might be it. Just to, yep, yep, there, yeah. That wasn't worth doing. <laughs> so I think after that, I went back to using my hands to help stabilize this box. I was trying not to use them too much because I, I'm sure that's gotta be a no rep, but gotta survive too. And that seemed more important than, uh, than necessarily calling it RX, which it already wasn't. And don't want to get injured for the actual quarterfinal. So, yep. And there's me psyching myself out on this box. So I am glad I had the soft box for that reason. Keeping the shins healthy for this couple days before the quarterfinals. Went back over here with the time cap to seven minutes. So I had like less than eight seconds and decided, nope, that's going to be it. Going to call it. So difficult workout. Let me know if you try it it was a challenge or if you did it originally and I would say today is one of those days that is like a little bit frustrating like it doesn't feel like I'm excelling and like it's not just sometimes people say I'm too hard on myself and that probably is a little bit true um but it's just frustrating when you can't do the workout and that may happen in actual quarterfinals you know, like the weight was just too heavy for me on that workout. And that box almost killed me because it was shaking. And I guess there, someone else told me after I should just use a 24 inch box with 45 pound plates, like a 45 pound plate on top. I didn't know that. So, uh, it was, uh, it was scary. And that was a little bit frustrating because I just couldn't do it well because the equipment wasn't working for me the best. Um, and I couldn't snatch that 135. So it just kind of left me with like, you know, disappointment. Maybe that'll help me push harder for that 135 next year. Um, Cause I have a whole year after this quarterfinals. So to, to do quarterfinals. This is just like a simulation. So to actually do quarterfinals and who knows, maybe that'll actually work out better for me than this did. The complex didn't go quite as well. I would have loved to have hit that 135. Just squatting is not, not there. I need to get on some weight lifting. I'm going to do that as soon as quarterfinals is over. So I'll let you know what that's going to be like once I figure it out and decide. But we are still in quarterfinals. Like I said before, I am grateful to be in them. I don't know how many of the workouts I'm going to be able to complete or like the workout I did today where I scaled it. If it was the actual quarterfinals, I'm going to be able to start that workout. And that's just what it is. And that's okay. And it's okay not to always be, you know, super successful at everything. You know, we're all doing our best and that's all that matters, right? Just give it your best effort. Even if it's not quite what you'd hope it would be, as long as you gave your best effort, that's something to be happy about. All right, tomorrow is the third and last day of quarterfinals 
simulation prep weekend. I think I'm gonna try to do it with the RX Plus class. I will try to take you all with me. I need to just make sure everyone's cool with me videoing there, or at least the people that might pop in the video. And yeah, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Well, the video will probably come out days apart, but you know, it'll be tomorrow for me. All right, see you later. Bye.